Hi, and welcome back to this week's News You Can Use Video Digest. The New York City Council passed several bills designed to provide greater protections against workplace sexual harassment, requiring annual training for private employers with 15 or more employees. City Council also passed legislation establishing a Charter Revision Commission to draft a new revised city charter for the first time since 1988. Kansas Governor Jeff Collier has signed Senate Bill 394, expanding the definition of lobbying to include executive and judicial branch procurement lobbying. Effective July 1st, lobbying will include the promoting or opposing in any manner an action or non-action by an executive or judicial agency on any administrative matter and requires lobbyist registration for attempting to influence members of the executive or judicial branch regarding any covered action, including contracts and agreements. The bill also increases the value of a meal an executive branch member may receive from $25 to $40. The Florida Constitution Revision Commission voted to place Proposal 6007, a six-year revolving door restriction, directly on the November general election ballot, which would also ban state and local officials from lobbying the legislature, executive branch, and the federal government while in office. If approved by 60% of voters, the lobbying ban will take effect December 31st, 2022. In sessions and elections news, the Kentucky legislature adjourned April 14th. Lawmakers passed House Bill 97, establishing a new filing deadline for elections of city officers. Before amended, the bill would have moved the date for filing a supplemental annual report from December 1st to December 31st. The Nebraska legislature adjourned on April 18th after taking no action on Legislative Bill 1099 to adopt the Legislative Ethics Act. The bill would have created an ethics board to receive and investigate complaints against any member or employee of the legislature. And the Utah legislature adjourned a veto session on Wednesday after overriding a pair of vetoes from Governor Gary Herbert. The legislature resurrected and passed Senate Bill 171, allowing legislatures to defend laws they pass in court instead of relying on the Attorney General's office, and House Bill 198, requiring the Attorney General to give written legal opinions to the legislature when requested. That's all the news we have for this week. Be sure to visit our blog, lobbycomply.com, for all your government relations news in the meantime. I'm John Sponarelli, and for all of us here at State and Federal Communications, we'll see you next week.